Christmas is over. New Year's has come and gone. Everything begins anew. There's snow on the ground. It's cold. And I'm in my home, sitting next to a fireplace, contemplating when I'm going to have this tree taken down. And all the other things going on in my life and in the world. You know, I'm a history student. Everyone knows that. I speak about it all the time. I travel. I go to those places at which great events and great people at one time or another performed and did their thing that impacted other people's lives. That is a very inspiring experience for me to have. I found a book I've been looking for for a long time written by Grace Eddington Jordan, who was the wife of Senator, Idaho Senator Lynn B. Jordan, for whom my sister at one time worked in Washington, D.C. for a couple of years. I like history because it tells you exactly what's going to happen in the days ahead if you're smart enough to understand it. Most people today have no concept of history. That's why they do such foolish and stupid things. That's why they make the same mistakes year after year, decade after decade, century after century. It's been said that people who don't know their history are bound to repeat it. And that's a true statement. Do you know where you came from? Do you know the price that was paid to get you in your business vehicle up to here, up to today? I don't think many of you do, and that's why so many people have a difficult time attaching and becoming part of something greater than themselves because they don't appreciate it. You cannot understand and appreciate that which you do not know. Mighty prices have been paid to get you where you are today. And it was paid by people, most of whom you never met and didn't even know. But nonetheless, the price they paid got you where you are today. I hope you're grateful for that. I hope you're thankful for that. If you say, well, that really doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it does. Because what you're doing or failing to do right now, today, this month, is going to impact the lives of people that come in to your business decades from now. It's been said that you're not really ready to live your own life to the real purpose for which you were created until you know what you want written about you on your own tombstone. If we buried you today, what would be inscribed on your tombstone? Name, date of death, date of birth? Or would there be something more, either in picture or word? I just got to tell you, friends, that being an active, contributing partner being an individual that reaches out of their own comfort zone and fringe of fear to serve and help another man or woman for the glory of God is a wonderful thing to do with your life. This book I found is called The King's Pines of Idaho. The wonderful woman that wrote it did thorough research. And it has to do with what happened in the world in the 1700s and 1800s. You know, back then, hundreds, 300 years ago, 250 years ago, there were no steamships. 
there were no power boats. The ships of the world, of all nations of the world, sailed by the force and power of the wind. White canvas sails. They circumvented the earth. They formed great navies. They fought great wars. They did wonderful, incredible things and contributed to exactly what you and I enjoy today. Because the work you do today can never be taken back once it's been performed and therefore has forward impact. And that's really something if it's positive and beneficial to those who receive its benefit. Pine trees, large, huge pine trees, yellow pines, ponderosa pines, and white pines out of central Idaho were sawed down, limbed, and floated down the North Fork of the Payette River into the main Payette River, into the Snake River, into the Columbia River, and on to Astoria, Oregon, where huge English sailing ships would load the sawed logs and de-limbed logs onto those ships and sail completely to the other side of the earth back to England where they would be used because of their size and strength and erect purposes as masts for the large sailing ships. Most people today who drive through the little town of McCall, Idaho have no idea that's where all this logging operation for those ship masts began in North America, in the western part of North America. They didn't have trucks, they didn't have tractors and track hose and all kinds of a shipment. They didn't even have chainsaws. It was all done by hand and by horse, workhorses. Those were strong men. But without them, the shipping industry and the history of the world would never have carried on as it did. The same thing applies to you, friends. The work you do today will benefit others tomorrow if it's a good, honest, legal, and proper work. And you will be double blessed if it serves your God by loving other people and serving them. I don't know how serious you are, but I know my history and I'm serious about what I do with my life. Because you're being written or omitted. Because you, as well as I, are being written about someday in the future because of the work you did today. The best use of your life is to so live your life that the use of your life will outlive your life. Is that what you're doing right now? Would you be happy and satisfied if you just had to stop everything right where it is today and live on it for the rest of your life? I think most of us would want to do more than what we've done. Well, that's a decision. And when you're doing the right thing in life that doesn't violate God's laws or man's laws, that's honest and legal, that benefits mankind, then you're going to impact lives of people that aren't even conceived yet. And one day as they sit beside a fire, thumbing through the pages of the family album, they'll say, is that him? Is that her? Is that the guy or gal that did everything that we now enjoy? I'm thankful for my parents 
because they loved me and taught me and trained me for success long before I was of age to become successful. They didn't just pick that off the street. They had that put into them from their parents and their parents' parents. So are you. You want to make it big, do something good for people that carries on to future generations. Don't waste your life doing nothing of significance. That is not why you were created. As I read through these special books, I'm being called to write some books. As a matter of fact, I have four books in the process of being published right now. I don't know when it's all going to come together because it's all new ground to me and I've got lots to learn. But I have learned a lot in the seven decades, seven plus decades of life that I've enjoyed and that would benefit other people, so I'm recording them. I'm not doing it to make light shine on me, I'm doing it to document what Jan and I, my wife and I did, so that other people might one day want to know and learn and use to benefit themselves and their own family. You know, life goes on whether you are part of it or not. And when your purpose is pure, honest, and you perform with honesty and integrity in all of your dealings with other people and come to grips and understand the ways that money is made and used properly, you're going to be blessed as long as you share it and teach others how to have the same things you have. Don't boss anybody. Nobody has that authority. Share. And then help those that want to know how to use what you've shared with them. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this sunny afternoon because a bigger snowstorm is on its way by just reading another chapter or two before the storm begins. There will always be storms. Thank God for the sailing ships, but they would have never been available had men and women not ventured in to snow 10 and 20 feet deep in the central Idaho mountains to manually harvest huge, tall pine trees to be used in shipbuilding on the other part of the world. See, that's the blessing you must see in order to have. You must see beyond the present and off into the future based on what you've learned about what went on in the historic past. Greatness lies within your soul. Use it. Peace and love to all of you. Papa Bear. <laughs>